She's coming off one of her best performance of the season, continuing to excel in everything she puts her mind to. Seacoast Mackenzie Ford is our News 13 Scholar Athlete of the Week. In gymnastics, 10 represents perfection. But for Mackenzie Ford, that number means many different things in her final season at Edgewater Gymnastics Academy. Mackenzie, we call her Wacko Macko. Um, she's actually been in our gym for 10 years. Like, the number 10 in gymnastics means so many things. You're always striving for that perfect 10. But for Macko, it means so much more. You know, she's overcome fears. She's been so extremely dedicated. Ford started at Edgewater Academy when she was seven years old. And for the last 10 years, she has driven from Santa Rosa Beach to Southport to chase her athletic dreams. And the fact that she comes in the gym and she works her butt off every single day, I, I wish I were more like that, you know? Like, she's just absolutely amazing and at just 17 years old. Ford is on level 10 at Edgewater this season, another representation of how her hard work has paid off over the years. Amazing to just know how hard I've worked and how much effort I've put into gymnastics in school and how far it's gotten me to be able to get to level 10, hopefully the NCAA for gymnastics, and just be able to graduate high school with my AA degree. The hope for Ford is that her gymnastics career is not over. She currently has one offer to continue her sport at the collegiate level. It's always been my dream to compete in the NCAA as a gymnast. And even if it's at the D3 level, I think it would just be so much fun to compete with other girls my level. But she knows it's going to take more than just her athletic ability to get her to college. She's on track to graduate high school with her associate's degree and currently has a 4.4 GPA. Ford plans on going to school to become a veterinarian. On top of high school and gymnastics, she spent time volunteering at an animal hospital to help prepare for a career helping animals. And so I really want to continue that career and go as a veterinarian and work with animals because I've always loved them growing up. And I think that would just be my ultimate dream. At Edgewater, the main goal for the athletes is to build them into strong girls. Well, Ford is a prime example of that mentality. They can be so dedicated in their sport and they keep their grades up. I just love that all these other athletes around Panama City can see what it is truly like to be a strong female athlete. Ford has been competing at state competition this weekend, nailing her vault for the first time all season. Her performance at state qualified her for regionals, so her time competing with Edgewater is not over yet.